Aloha everyone, Chris Fujigami here, and today we're going to be learning a classical piece entitled For Elise, and for this tutorial we'll be covering the first half of the song. And so let's get right into it. Alright, so we're going to be starting on our 7th fret on the A string, and we're going to pick that once, then onto the 6th fret, same string, back to the 7th, back to the 6th, and to the 7th. Okay, so your picking pattern should be 7, 6, 7, 6, 7. Up to the 2nd, down to the 5th, and to the 3rd. And we're going to hit our A minor, which is the 2nd fret on the top string, your G string. And we're going to strum that one time. Okay, again that will be 7, 6, 7, 6, 7, 2, 5, 3, A minor. Okay. And all of that is going to take place again on, the, on your A string, your bottom string. Next you're going to pick your C string open, meaning you're not going to be pressing any frets with your left hand. Again, so the C string open, E string open, and A string open. C, E, A. And we're going to follow it up with an E, R, E7 chord, which is putting your pointer finger on the first fret of your top string. And your middle finger is going to go on the second fret of the C string. Your ring finger is going to go on the second fret of the A string. We're going to strum that one time. Okay, so so far you have. 7, 6, 7, 6, 7, 2, 5, 3, A minor, open C, open E, open A, and your E7. Alright, moving right along, we're going to hit our E string, our second string, from the bottom, open one time. And you're going to hit your bottom string, your A string open also. Then onto the 2nd fret of the A string. And then to the 3rd fret of the A string. Next we're going to go right back down to the 7th fret. And we're going to do the same pattern, 7, 6, 7, 6, 7. 2, 5, 3, A minor. Open C, open E, open A, E7. Alright, for this time around, it's a little bit different on the ending. You're going to pick an open E string, your second string from the bottom. And on your A string, you're going to hold the third fret. Pick that. And then onto the second fret, A string. And your A minor. different ending. Alright, so section 2 of this song, we're going to start off on the 2nd fret of your A string, bottom string. We're going to pick that, and then onto the 3rd, and the 5th, and we're going to go, we're going to hold down the 7th fret on the A string, but we're going to strum all the strings. Okay, so it would be Next you're going to go on the 3rd fret of the E string, 2nd string from the bottom. We're going to pick that. And then back to the A string on the 8th fret. Then the 7th. Now we're going to bar the 5th fret and we're going to strum that. Next we're going to go on the 1st fret of your E string. And we're going to pick the 1st fret. 
and to the 7th fret of your A string, then to the 5th, and the 3rd. Now we're going to hit an open E string, down to the 5th fret of your A string, and then the 3rd fret, and our E7 chord. Alright, moving along to the last section of this song. We're basically repeating the first section of this song. So we're going to go right back down to the 7th fret of the A string. And in the same picking pattern, 7, 6, 7, 6, 7, 2, 5, 3, A minor. Open C, open E, open A, E7. Okay, and our ending will be open E. So we're going to pick the open E. Hit the third fret of the A string. Second fret of the A string. And A minor. One last time, one strum. Alright, so that is it for today's tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Uh, it's a really beautiful piece to play. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not following this, this channel yet, please subscribe. Alright, so until next time, aloha!